Okay, this is the overview, and I'm and uh, kind of show you how I built my uh, snowmobile, my nitro-powered snowmobile con conversion. It's one of those cheapo electric snowmobiles for like 50 bucks at Walmart. Took a ton of reinforcing. First, I'll start with the hood. I have working headlights that change the dimness with um, the throttle, advanced like like it would with a generator on a real snowmobile. Um, I used Velcro to keep the hood on. I um, I have put a Futaba S3001 servo in there with the original push rods. Um, just and I made a uh, aluminum uh, control horns for the skis because the other ones kept breaking. I also put um, shocks in there from the Evator EXT2 with um, the hard springs, and I spray painted them yellow. What else I have is how I mounted the suspension, or the, not the suspension, the gearing, how I did the gearing. I made a block right here, and I glued it to my aluminum chassis. And then here, down here, this is my hub for my gear here um, that, ke that kept uh, Oh, um, stripping out so because it's a hex shaft there, so I had to make a aluminum shaft hex shaft hex um, receiving shaft for that. And here I made reinforcements for the shocks, and then I just bolted them on. And here's the wires for the headlights. I have an onboard glow starter system, so I don't have to take the hood off, put a glow starter on every time. And it starts with that switch, right? down on there. This is the receiver on off switch right here. I also put Velcro under the seat to make that stay on. And first I have my ESC to control the headlights. This is my watertight bag for my receiver. I have my receiver battery and then my glow starter battery. All right. Um, now for the rear suspension. What I did is I made a whole aluminum piece that fits right right inside here like a glove. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on the other side there. You can see the aluminum. And then it comes up into here where I can mount the motor. And this piece right uh, here needs to be glued back on. I kind of broke that with a jump. It's just to reinforce these flimsy little tabs there for the rear suspension arm. But anyways, I also took the took shocks from the Evader EXT to put in the rear suspension. And after lots of placement, I finally found the right one. So it's the perfect, the perfect. Um, wait, I um, made a upgraded shaft way up in the front for the front shock to go onto, and I had to cut the track a tiny bit to make it um, so it's less wide. Um, let's see, what else is there? Um, looks like that's pretty much pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, um, post below or. Uh, send me an email. Um, I'll gladly answer or help you with any questions. Or if you want to try and build one yourself, I'll give you some tips. Thanks for watching.